today I'm going to teach you to make a 3D paper snowflake like these. Here's a little one. Kind of cool. And then we've got a big one, which is kind of cool. I feel like the big ones and the little ones are a little too hard. The small ones are hard to work with. So we're going to make a medium size one. What you need, scissors, tape, and a stapler. And then three pieces of printer paper. You're going to fold them all together, right, just stack them together, and fold them right in half. After you've got it folded in half, you're going to cut down the line that you just made. So, we've now got six pieces of paper. Alright. But what you need is six pieces of square paper, and these obviously are rectangular, not square. So, in order to make each of them square, you are going to fold it like this. You're going to line up the corner and line this up so it's completely straight along here and fold it so that you've got a nice triangular shape here and then you're going to cut off this extra edge so now you have a square piece of paper you're going to do the same thing with all six pieces but I'll just demonstrate right now so you're going to Put it into the triangle. Now you're going to fold it one more time so you're folding along the long side. Line up the pointy corners and flatten it so it's nice and tight there. Now you've got a folded triangle. On the side where the fold is, you want to hold that over to the side and you're going to cut up the bottom. You're going to do them, um, you're going to do three cuts. And you want them all to be about evenly spaced. Now you do not want to cut all the way through because that will cause you a problem. So do not cut into the fold, but you want to get up pretty close to it. I don't know if you can see that. Now do the same thing again, just a straight line. Don't cut through or it's broken. And Okay, so now you've got three cuts, straight line. So, you're going to carefully unfold it along the seam. Looks pretty cool. And then unfold it again, being really careful not to rip it. If you use thinner paper, it'll look pretty, but it'll be hard to, harder to work with, I think. Okay, so now you've got this little piece of cut up paper. Now, you're gonna need tape next. I like to get my tape ready ahead of time because I think it's easier to do it that way. You just need little bitty pieces of tape. You want four of them. You know, this is the exciting part, right? The prepping of the tape. Okay, now, you take the middle section and bend it so that the points touch each other. See, nothing fancy, just like that. And then you put a piece of tape to hold it in. Now here's the part that you don't want to mess up. Flip it over so that the rolled part is down. Now you grab the next section. Tape that, then flip it back over, flip it, tape it. You don't want to bring it too far like that where the point comes out the other side. You just want it to cross over a little bit. There you go. Now flip it one more time. 
and do the last piece. Okay, now here's this neat little 3D shape. We're gonna do the same thing. It looks on, like an ornament, doesn't it? It does look like an ornament. You could hang it just like that and make it a Christmas tree ornament. So you're gonna ha do the same thing. I'm not gonna make you watch me do all six of them, but you're gonna repeat this process until you've got six of these guys. Okay, so now you've got six of these things. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hook three of them together. You're gonna take the corners and just get them together. So you've got a nice little point. And this is where your stapler comes in. You're gonna staple the end of that. See, you don't want it too far in. So that's the first three. And you're gonna do the same thing again with the next three. Once again, we staple. Now, you have two. Can you see it okay? And you're going to take those two places where you just put the staples and you're going to bring in your stapler again and staple those two together. Now your snowflake looks beautiful, but it kind of tends to get out of shape sometimes. <laughs> I have a spazzy camera person. So you're gonna take places where these two things, stop it, connect, where they touch each other in the middle. You're gonna staple those together. Sometimes it won't hold, to get, hold its shape properly if you don't do this. So here's the next two. So you're gonna put, I guess it's six staples in here because there's six papers. Mm -hmm. Perfection is not required. Good thing, right? that snowflake and then apparently cats really like them hi <laughs> ow, ow don't bite me <laughs> <laughs> okay can you tip the camera so you've got this beautiful snowflake now if you want to hang it I would suggest reinforcing the top like you can see where these two spaces are so I like to make those perfectly on the sides you would want to reinforce the top with a piece of tape because if you just like, really I would love to buy that snowflake if you just put a needle and thread through the end of it the paper is going to rip but if you just put a little piece of tape on either side here and then stick your needle and thread through that see it doesn't show 
but it reinforces it so it's stronger and it's not going to rip. Now you can put a needle and thread through this and you can hang it and if you dangle it from something it will spin and it will look pretty and it will create lots of lovely shadows. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this learning how to make a big old 3D snowflake.